Um, first of all, on Chi Chi, what did you see <clears throat> wrong today with him or nothing today? I think too many pitches in the middle, just based on the type of swings they had. Uh, it looked as though he couldn't consistently get the, the slider or the fastball to the edges. I think with Chi Chi, uh, he's got some natural movement, but I think overall, without reviewing the uh, video to know where every single pitch was, I think when you have, uh, you know, some swings like they were taking on their on their base hits, you know, especially early their singles, uh, those look to be, you know, in the middle, middle away. Uh, you know, there were some balls hit up the middle. There were some opposite field hits. Uh, that tells me the ball wasn't really getting to the corners. Um, he comes out in the fourth inning, he has a one, two, three inning. Yeah. Was there any, did you feel like he was in, he had kind of snapped into the game, obviously the fifth? Yeah, inning. I thought that, you know, he ended the third with a double play ball. He had given up singles, right? I mean, they hadn't, you know, peppered him for extra base hits. Uh, he got the ground ball double play. Then he had the quick fourth inning. Uh, I thought he had enough left to go uh, at least another inning uh, through, uh, you know, through their lineup. But uh, Carlson hit that ball off the end of the bat, uh, you know, a little dorker into left field. And then he then he threw a bad he threw a bad breaking ball to Goldsmith. A couple of things. Oh, sorry about that. A couple of things on your offense. Um, it really looks like Charlie has picked things up, and guys tend to react around him when he gets big hits. What what are you seeing out of him, man? Well, again, I think you know we talked last week about him, uh, you know, not being on time. Uh, behind the fastball and ahead of the breaking ball. Uh, looks like his timing's better. He's squaring up fastballs. Uh, you know, he's, you know, he's recognizing breaking balls and staying back and hitting those as well. So uh, three hits today, uh, some good swings over the last four or five days lead, lead me to believe that Charlie is, you know, seeing the ball well. Uh, he's getting his foot down and he's putting a good swing on the ball because he's on time. And last one I'm going to ask you about is Dom Nunez came up big for you in the fifth inning. Um, you had it a bet later, didn't get the hit, but it seems like his at bats are a little calmer with runners on base. Do you see that? Or well, that you know, I don't, I don't know about that. I'd have to, you know, I haven't thought about that, but that was a big hit. You know, we need those types of hits. We got two today. Uh, Dom's two out double scored three. Charlie's two out single scored two. Uh, you know, we've talked about hitting uh, in the clutch. We've talked about stringing hits together, uh, you know, during an inning to, to put a crooked number on the board. And that's what we, uh, we did that twice. So uh, we put up a four spot. We put up a three spot. That's good to see. But in and around those big hits, there were, you know, so a base hit. There was good walks. Uh, there were good at bats. So scored eight runs. Uh, we got double digit hits. You know, against a pretty good pitching staff, and uh, we just fell short. They, uh, you know, they, you know, they as well got some big swings too. Thank you, buddy. Patrick. Hi, buddy. Hey, before I forget, and I apologize, I should have asked you this this morning. Uh, what is the status? I know CJ Chrome has a tight back. Uh, is it like a big deal, or is it something that you think he can overcome? We're keeping an eye on it. Uh, we're hoping it resolves itself the next day or two to avoid the injured list. Uh, you know, we'll know more tomorrow. Obviously, uh, we'd, I think we'd like to hang on to him, if, even if he misses tomorrow and, and potentially the next day. Uh, you know, we'll see how it is. Uh, Keith is somewhat optimistic that we can avoid it, but you know, I think tomorrow and Monday are really big days when we evaluate CJ. Okay. Um, Spilly on the, the TV broadcast uh, brought up an interesting stat. I was hoping you could explore it a little bit. He said, Chi Chi uh, leadoff hitters in innings is now they're hitting or have reached base in 16 of 30 leadoff hitters this year. It's a pretty high on base percentage. What's What's causing that, and, it, and is that really putting a lot of pressure on him to, to be able to go, you know, deeper in the games and be the pitcher you want him to be? Well, I'll answer the second part of that first. Yes, uh, it does put pressure on a pitcher when the leadoff guy's on base. That's, uh, you know, that's a tough scenario. Uh, you know, as often as it has happened with Chi Chi, 
you got to get three outs with a guy on first. That's not an easy task. Uh, to answer the first part, I don't I don't know the reason. Probably better uh, answer for for Chichi. Uh, I know that he's focused. I know that his intent is to, you know, get every hitter out. I know that his concentration and his focus is there uh, from the time he gets to the ballpark till uh, the time that his day's over. So I don't think it's anything mentally. Uh, it's, you know, again, maybe this is a, a sample. I don't know what's a big sample size on this, but uh, that is a high number, no doubt about it, with 30, uh, you know, 30 innings. But we'll, uh, you know, we'll obviously bring that to Chi Chi's attention. I think we're aware of that as well. I don't know whether uh, Steve or, or Daryl have talked to Chi Chi about that. I'm sure Chi Chi's probably pretty aware of that as well. Uh, but yet he's weaved through some innings to, you know, to have his ERA where it is. So that's a good thing. But uh, it does put, you know, pressure on a pitcher to have that happen off. One more for me, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> Just for you personally, how frustrating is this? You've been waiting for the team to string at bats together. You do it in a big way today, and yet you still end up losing nine to eight. I mean, do you? Yeah. How do you deal with this? Well, uh, you got to understand that this is a you know a competitive game with uh, a team on the other side trying to do the same thing we're trying to do, win a ball game. And we talked about it this morning, uh, Patrick. I think that uh, if you if you gather you know, all the events of today, uh, you know, they just outdid us by a little bit. Uh, we scored in the first, they came back and scored scored three. Uh, you know, they added on, uh, got to five to one. We came back with some, you know, good at bats and a big swing to get to five to five. Uh, you know, they gave up, uh, we gave uh, up that little blooper to, Carlson to left, and Goldsmith, who swung the bat well all day, uh, hit a homer. Uh, Lawrence had a, a tough time. Uh, they jumped him pretty quick on his low fastballs, uh, you know, for that two spot after Chi Chi, but he bounced back and put up a scoreless inning. Uh, we're down nine to nine to five. Uh, we rally against uh, two of their better relief pitchers. Uh, this kid Reyes has a really big arm. Uh, Chuck got a big hit off him. You know, it was a very competitive game by two professional teams going at it. Uh, somebody's going to win the game. Somebody's going to lose it. Uh, you know, they probably just did a little bit, just a tiny bit more on the mound and maybe a tiny bit more at the plate. And when that happens, you know, that pr probably swung the game. Okay. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Hey, buddy. Uh, the bottom of the eighth unfolds, I'm sure, not as you would have liked, but certainly the result there with Michael Givens, pretty impressive to work out of that jam. Well, uh, yeah, jam that he created himself, uh, you know, with a couple walks. Uh, I'm sure Michael would uh, be the first to tell you that that's not how you do it. You don't walk the leadoff hitter uh, late in the game. That makes it uh, makes it difficult, especially in the, here comes the top of the order with, with Edmund Carlson, Goldsmith, and Nolan and to young, uh, but he battled. He's a veteran pitcher that knows how to, uh, you know, sort of bob and weave through an inning to, to put up a zero, which he did. Uh, you know, he's been through this before. He's a, he's one of our, he's one of our few guys who've been around, uh, you know, more than five, six years. Uh, he's experienced. He, he, he navigated his way through an inning, uh, you know, really competitive at bat versus Goldsmith and punched him out and then got to young on the pop-up. But, you know, that's what, you know, veteran relief pitchers do who pass the test of time. They find a way to get it done. And Michael did that today. Thanks, buddy. Anything else for 